Hi everyone, it's Darren Fraser here with a second video on using industrial graphics within Aviva Insight. For this video, I wanted to spend a little more time talking through some of the setup details. Now you may recall this slide from the earlier video around how to upload and use the graphics symbols. I wanted to focus a little more on the middle piece of this image because there's a few key things you need to know. How do you configure Aviva Connect to support graphics for use in Insight? So the first thing that we want to do is check that our Insight solution is set up as part of an Aviva Connect corporate account. So we go to our normal Insight logon page and hit the sign in button and then log in with your normal Insight credentials. Choose the right Insight solution that you have and once you're logged into Insight, go into your user profile and that will tell us the type of account that you have within Connect. You'll see a field on this form called account and if that account has a email address in there, then you have a personal account, not a corporate account. You can see in my case that we have uh, a corporate account configured, which is what we want. We'll then go to Aviva Connect. So just simply go to connect.aviva.com and then click the sign in button at the top of the screen. Aviva Connect will use the same credentials as Insight. So simply log on using those credentials. Now, one thing that's really important to note here is that to complete the next steps, you must be an Aviva Connect administrator. And if you're not sure who that administrator is, you can check with our team by emailing feedback at aviva.com and they'll be able to let you know. I'm already set up as an Aviva Connect administrator, so I'll log in and continue this exercise. Now, the second thing that we need to check is within my Aviva Connect account is that I have a folder that matches the name of my Insight solution. The folder simply represents a different solution or a different data set used across different applications within Connect. And you can see from the tiles below that both Insight and Integration Studio are available for this folder, which is exactly what I need to move to the next step. So at this point, if you don't see Integration Studio or your Insight solution is not there, or as we saw within Insight that your account is not part of a corporate account, then please contact us at feedback at aviva.com and the team will be able to help you resolve that. Industrial graphics in Insight requires the availability of an integration studio license. Though you should already have that available from the development studio that you use to configure your on-premises application. So as you can see here, both Insight and Integration Studio are available. So the first thing that we want to do is decide who will have permissions to upload graphics from the on-premises applications. It's important to note that this needs to be set up explicitly. The users you want to upload graphics do not need to be Insight users or administrators. They just need permissions to upload graphics into the cloud. So to set this up, click on the hamburger menu at the top of Connect and select User Management. Aviva Connect allows you to set up users based on individual user accounts or using user groups, and you can allocate roles to those user or, you, or groups that determine what they'll be allowed to do. This can be configured on a per application basis, meaning you can give a user access to one application but not another based on the role that you give them. In this example, we're going to set this up using individual users, but if you have a lot of users and want to use groups, this is outlined in the online Insight Online Help. So on the Users tab, we're going to add a new user. In this case, I'm going to add Brendan Joyce, who's one of our Insight Product Management team. So once we have the user details filled in, I'll then give Brendan access to Integration Studio as part of a, as part of a service role, then as a content contributor on the Insight folder that we talked about, in this case, graphics end to end. So if I wanted Brendan to be able to use, but not upload graphics, I can make him a content reader for Integration Studio. And I set this up on the specific folder that I'm interested in. Now, once I've added all of the users that I want to be able to upload graphics from our on-premises application and read graphics from the cloud, we can go and test that the graphics upload works as we expect. One thing I did want to highlight at this point is some work with Insight that's still ongoing. By the end of Q2 2021, you'll be able to manage all users and permissions for Insight within Aviva Connect. And you'll also be able to manage and create solutions directly from within the Connect portal. We're actively working on these now. 
So from a security perspective, you'll be able to have a single point of security management for all users across all of Eva applications. Today for Insight, Insight users are still managed within Aviva Insight, and it's important to understand that distinction. But this will change as we bring that into Aviva Connect during Q2 in 2021. Within Connect, you'll also be able to look at solution management, the tiles will work, and you'll be able to create new solutions directly from within the Connect portal. But we're not quite there yet. Uh, so the permissions that we've set up in this video are specifically related to integration studio and access to storage for industrial graphics. At this stage, please don't try and set up security for Insight within Aviva Connect. It's not connected just yet. So we'll have, won't have any effect other than likely to confuse you. Um, but stay tuned on this one as we're getting close to complete and we'll use this to unlock other capabilities like security being able to support multiple locations for finer grain security management and support for user groups for easier configuration. Hopefully that gives you a little more information around the more technical setup steps for publishing industrial graphics, and you'll get up and running without any issues. As always, let us know how you go, and any feedback is always welcome. Thanks a lot.